I think we just have all faith in all of our running backs, you know, at the end of the day. Um, we talk about our brand of football, and that's physical football. So no matter who's back there, we're going to try to run it down the throat. Did you feel like the camp was paying more attention to you today than maybe you've seen so far in the league because of Kyle being out, because of Cordero being out? Was that – did you sense that at all? Or? Um, honestly, no. I, I didn't really sense that at all. Um, just went out there and tried to play my best. Was it your knee? Is that what – is that why you left off your knee? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. Effective? It's good, though. Yeah, it's good. How frustrating it is when the offense can't really get things clicking there. I think that's frustrating for anybody, any team. Uh, if you can't get nothing going, that's, that's frustrating in itself. So Frustrating to get another loss here. I mean, Tampa Bay, obviously, you haven't faced them yet, but division is for you guys. Um, yeah, it's frustrating. We want to win every game that we possibly can, um, especially in our division. So uh, this one stings a little bit, but we just got to get back in the lab and keep on going. What was the defense doing so well to kind of key up on you guys? Um, honestly, just coming up on third down, stopping the play, you know, um, stopping their momentum. How do you explain not getting momentum on your side, kind of just kind of trying to get those wheels turning? Um, I don't know, we just go out there and try to play football at the end of the day. Um, sometimes it doesn't go your way, sometimes it does. Um, all you can do is just keep on fighting and trying to break that barrier and get through that. Hey, Blake, did um, you just fall awkwardly when they checked your knee out? Yeah, that's it. And everything you checked out? Mm -hmm. Y'all were down 21 points, still found a way to make it a, 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 a one score game. Like, what was the mood on the sideline, like, even when things weren't going wrong? Uh, just as she said, sorry. We got to get the wheels turning, right? Um, so we finally got the wheels turning, and you saw what happened. Why do you feel like it took so long to get those wheels turning? Or maybe what changed? Sense of urgency. Um, I think that was a big thing. Uh, go out there and just, and just execute. I know it's not the results you wanted, but can you take any solace or anything forward on the way you finished the game as opposed to how it started? That's what we preach every day is uh, the finish aspect of the game, you know, and we have to finish. Um, that's what we try to do there, but um, you saw it with your own eyes. We're just talking to Drake about how it just took a little bit to get the wheels kind of turning on offense, and he talked about sense of urgency being that thing that kind of clicked for you guys. What took so long to kind of get to that point, you think? I don't know. I, we that's something we got to figure out when we watch film because obviously that's something that really hindered us this game is we took too long to get going and uh, it was you know too late towards the end. But um, you know there's room to improve. We did some good things, but you know it's frustrating because you know obviously it could be a different game if we were rolling a little better on offense that first half and uh, really not until the fourth quarter we started finally moving it. What was Tampa doing differently um, on defense up front that was being successful against you guys? <laughs> Um, it's hard to say until I get a you know, better picture of the film and everything exactly, but um, what it felt like is just we, we just weren't executing. Um, you know, it's frustrating when you kind of do that to yourself, but um, that's the biggest thing. We know that if we can all be on the same page, play with urgency, know what, we're, know what to do and how to do it, we can be successful. It just took us too long to start doing that. Is it is, it, I know it's a loss, not always great, you know, at the end of the day, but um, knowing that you guys did come back, is there any kind of solace in that? I mean, we still lost, like you said, <laughs> so it, 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 we're frustrated right now, but, um, you know, we, we got to find a way to play better in the beginning of the game. That, that, that's the biggest takeaway I can, you know, say so right now. So you know, we'll get back to it tomorrow and get back to work next week. Thinking back to it, is there anything different, you know, that you think of immediately, like we need to do this better in the beginning of the game? Um, I, you know, I, really everything. Protection, running the ball. Um, I think we had some penalties too, so it, we got to execute just in a broad sense. And um, it's easier said than done, but, you know, it took, like, it's just frustrating. I keep saying it, but it took us too long to start executing, so we were out of it by then. Hey, Jake, what did you all learn about the team today? Um, well, I, I, I've always known we have fight. We're, we're never going to quit. Um, that's first and foremost. Um, also that, you know, th there's a good group of guys. No, no one's out for themselves. Um, everyone's bought into what we're doing. And, you know, there was no one turning their backs on anyone or pointing fingers. It was, hey, let's, let's fix what we got to fix and get back into this, which we did. But... Um, like I said, it just wasn't enough.
And, uh, you know, you, how did y'all make up for the 35% of the offenses out today? Uh, Pitts and Patterson, but it looked like you know, that's a tough ask. I mean, that much is done. Yeah, but we, we expect that mm -hmm. out of ourselves. And um, we started showing stuff later, but, you know, we you know we expect to win with whoever we put out there because we know we have t talented players. So, um, yeah, we just got to go look at it and learn and get better from it, you know. It looked, it looked like they were just daring y'all to throw in a perspective. Um, it, it's, like I said, it's hard to say exactly what they were doing because I, I haven't gotten to see the, the bigger picture yet. But... Um, from, from my sense, it just felt like we weren't, we weren't executing. We were calling plays, and we were one guy off here, one guy off there. And, um, you know, that, that's frustrating because that's stuff we can control. But, you know, you got to give them credit. They they beat us today, but, you know, it's a long season. Uh, just, you know, not, you know, of course not the best uh, <clears throat> energy, but, you know, some we just bounced back, watched the film, uh, just things we could have done better early in the game, mm -hmm. and uh, just be able to, not get in those situations in the, you know, in the fourth quarter and just close games out. I know you said you put your hands on Evans, but is that the kind of play that you make a dozen times during a game that doesn't get called? Uh, I don't know. I was just, you know, like I said, it was third and seven, just trying to get off the field. And, uh, you know, they call what they call something I can't control. So um, just next play mentality. You know, we had another opportunity. And put it in the rest hands again and, you know, just get back to the drawing board next week. Not to harp on penalties. I don't know if someone asked this before we walked up, but the Grady roughing the passer penalty, what was kind of your perspective on that? Uh, just like I said, I keep, I keep saying it, just, you know, the refs, they have, you know, can, do, you know, determine calls and we just got to play the next snap. That's, you know, out of our control.